we've talked about the number one thing, which is to get your hands on as many examples as you can and see how other people solve the problems that are out there. Um, you know, there's no reason to reinvent the wheel if you don't have to, unless you think you can make a better wheel. That may be the case, or it may not. You may not need to. Uh, I, to me, that's number one. Um, apart from that, uh, I spent a lot of time planning and brainstorming before I even picked up my controller. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my games were written out in uh, Notepad on my PC um, before I did anything on the Xbox. I would try to come think about you know, what are the goals of the game? What do I want the player to be doing and thinking about when they're playing? Uh, how am I going to make the controls work in a way that makes the game really playable? Mm. Um, you know, how am I going to use the, the limited variables that I have to represent the data that I need? Um, in which characters, Kodu characters, am I going to use to represent certain things? And I would plan all that out you know, before I, I got on the Xbox. And I would even start writing out the code. Once you get comfortable with it, you know, there's a limited number of commands mm. that are available. And so you can just start saying, okay, on my, my primary code, page one, this is what it's going to say. You know, page two, this is what it's going to say. And this is how I get from page one to page two. And I found that looking at it on, you know, written out on a piece of, uh, well, not a piece of paper, but on, on Notepad, really helped me see where the connections were between my objects. And that was good from learning a you know object oriented programming perspective. I, I have to think about how one object interacts with the other because everything in code is encapsulated in an object, and uh, that really helped visualize that. Now, when you sit down to design it, you know every plan is wonderful until it's tested in battle, right? Yeah. Then you figure out what code will and won't do, and you can modify it. But at least you have something to start with, and you don't just sit down with a blank canvas and go. Uh, what am I going to make today? You know, because that really is when you have one of those unproductive days. <laughs> you know, those of us that really got into it would strive to have certain characteristics in the games. You know, you want to have, you want to explain what's going on to the user. You want to have instructions. You want to have controls that really work for the game that you're mm -hmm. making. Um, you want to have it clear what your objectives are as a player. And, you know, you want it to be able to run well. Kodu has... A real limitation on the yeah. Xbox is only so many objects you can put in it. The world can only be so big, or it just starts chugging. It, it, the Xbox yeah. can't keep up with it. And that's something to consider. I've played quite a few games with people who decided they were going to design this huge world, and they did, and your meter's in the red the whole time, and it just, it, you know, it runs like you're running it on a PC from you know, 1992. So it's, uh, it's something to consider, too. I think some of the, the best games out there have those characteristics. It's a world just for you to play around in, you know, so that every time you turn on coding and you've got an idea, you just open up this sort of uh, test bed and play around with it and see if it works. Because you don't know. You, you know, you may find out that this character can't jump. Who knew? <laughs> and uh, so that, that blows up your concept. But that way you can play around and feel like you're not really going to mess anything up. Um, and then when you're ready to actually make a game, go through the planning process. You know, go through the process of thinking through all the characters, all the variables, all the rules, how things are going to interact with each other, and what's the player experience going to be like. And to do all that and write it down and think it through before you, you know, pick up the mouse, the keyboard, or the controller. And uh, I think that makes a big difference.